Hello beautiful people. Today the Finland's uh, joint application has been closed. So hope uh, you people uh, who are interested to start in Finland, you have applied and uh, you are waiting for the exam and really waiting for the coming to Finland. So uh, all the best to you who have uh, applied uh, in this year. So I'm here to give a, a brief or give some ideas about the uh, entrance exam of the uh, joint application uh, which you have applied. So I'm Mohammed Tarifais. I'm uh, studying Bachelor of Business Administration uh, in uh, St. Oak University of Applied Science. Uh, you all know uh, there are many programs uh, offered by the Finnish University of Applied Sciences. Uh, the most popular uh, programs are uh, Bachelor of International Business, uh, Agrofold Engineering, Electrical Engineering, and uh, Nursing, and uh, uh, so many subjects uh, may appear. But uh, I will try to give you a brief about uh, the exam and uh, what you will face. And I will uh, share my experience uh, how I have faced the exam and the other things. So let's start. So you know, uh, there are two phases of uh, the selection process. The first one is uh, MCQ, that is uh, that will be your first challenge, and then the group discussion and written part, uh, that will be your final challenge. If you can overcome these two steps, then uh, it is very easy to get the offer letter or the acceptance letter. So. It will be an online exam, you know, your exam will be on 8th February uh, 2023 at uh, 12 o'clock finish time and uh, you will get a confirmation message, uh, actually not a confirmation message, it will be a personal login link uh, from the admission uh, on 6th February 2023. If you uh, will not get the personal login link, then uh, you must have to contact with the admission. Uh, you should mail them and uh, you should explain that uh, you uh, didn't get the personal login link before the exam start. Uh, so, uh, in order to invite to, to the same phase group interview, you must pass all the exam section of the uh, first phase, uh, that is the first exam, MCQ exam, uh, which has been taken uh, in uh, couple of, uh, not actually couple of, uh, it will be uh, many sections according to the subject you have applied. For example, if you are applied for uh, international business, then uh, you have to uh, pass the three section of uh, English, math, and uh, another one is uh, reasoning skills. So, uh, uh, the participation chance is on the ones if you miss the proper time to attend the exam, you will not get another chance. So you have to uh, give a reminder in 8th February uh, at 12 o'clock and you, you should remember the time and date. So here we will talk about the sections. Uh, I'm especially, I will especially talk about the international business and uh, in this slide, the reasoning skills and English language skills, the two section is common to all uh, subjects that you have applied already. So, uh, whatever subject you have applied, these two sections will be there. So, the reasoning skills and English language skills. Uh, the reasoning skills you will get 25 minutes. Uh, this is the section that will assess your logical reasoning and problem solving skills. And the maximum uh, score in this section is 20 and the minimum pass score is 1. But you should not look at the pass mark, uh, you should get as much as possible number to uh, get uh, the offer letter because uh, after it is a competition. And about the English language skill, uh, you will get 20 minutes. Uh, uh, this will uh, assess your reading and interpreting text. Uh, skills, uh, 
it will assess your reading and interpreting skills and the understanding level of the relation between different parts and uh, you will uh, uh, you have to solve the vocabulary questions uh, you will face two uh, phrases uh, you have to answer 15 questions as for I have done this and uh, here is also the maximum number is 20 and the minimum score is 3 uh, that means if you uh, want to pass this section you have to get uh, at least number 3 and the field specific exam section uh, here you will uh, get uh, the sections that is uh, actually depend on your subject that you have choose you have applied for uh, there is a uh, many subjects and you have applied for different subjects so this uh, field specific exam section so will be differ from one to another so here is the mathematical skills mathematical skills uh, you have to uh, be prepared about some basic calculations uh, calculating the percentage the degree equation, geometry, mathematical, logical reasoning, uh, interpreting tables, uh, graphs, and diagrams. Uh, the students uh, who have applied for the technological subjects, business administration, and ICT and natural uh, resources, tourism and hospitality, sea suffering, social service, uh, healthcare, sports, and exercise and beauty care, uh, mathematical course you have to pass. Uh, this will assess your basic mathematical skills. Uh, you can use the calculator, and here is also the maximum number will be 20, and the minimum number will be one. Then, uh, uh, who have applied for the technical subjects, uh, technology-based subject, uh, uh, you have to uh, do this section also. Uh, that is the advanced mathematical skills. Uh, I don't have much idea about the advanced mathematical skills as my background is. Uh, business so you can uh, watch this slide here is all the topics that you have to cover up for uh, getting preparation and you are also allowed to use the function calculator here so take a screenshot and uh, get prepared on these topics these sections are not for all uh, whom you need you can cover up these sections uh, but uh, the uh, students who have applied for the international business and uh, other uh, ICT or science related subjects uh, you can only cover up to this and the international business students you don't need to uh, get prepared for the advanced mathematical skills uh, you have only three courses to uh, three sections you have only three sections to uh, make yourself prepared that is uh, the reasoning skills English language skills and mathematical skills in reasoning skills you will get 25 minutes in english you will get 20 minutes and mathematical skills you will get 25 minutes and you can start uh, any of them uh, section uh, by your choice if you want to start by the mathematical skills you can do this and if you want you can start with english or reasoning skills that is up to you and uh, how to take the preparation uh, this uh, slide is actually based on the students of Bangladesh so uh, you can uh, avoid this but uh, there is uh, uh, some links uh, that may help all the students uh, beyond Bangladesh uh, there is some uh, previous year questions and some practices uh, some online practices uh, in this uh, red color mark uh, there is a hyperlink so if you click you can go to a website and you can uh, see the questions from this link. I will give you the slide uh, in the description link. So here are some uh, sample questions of math or logical skills. Uh, you can uh, take this screenshot and you can uh, get some idea to how the math question will be. And you are watching a red color link uh, which is written more. You can click in this uh, link and you will get some practices in English question you will get two passages I have said you earlier uh, the first page is uh, you have to answer uh, five questions uh, that is related to vocabulary actually the, they will ask you the synonym or antonym or some uh, phrases uh, this kind of actually this is uh, related to vocabulary so if you were 
uh, strong enough in vocabulary you can solve this and other way you can uh, solve this by the dictionary because uh, this uh, the first entrance exam there is no camera so uh, this will be easy to get five out of five sorry apology for the bad idea then the second phase then the second passes uh, you will get uh, true false and uh, rearrange uh, there will be five true false and rearrange uh, there is five number so uh, you have to read the second passes uh, very well because uh, there is 10 numbers uh, 10 questions actually uh, in this from this from this passes so you have to uh, go through very well into this uh, in this second passes and uh, the group interview if you have passed the first phase I'm thinking uh, you have passed so now you have to uh, attend your group interview so what do you need you need your passport uh, you should uh, you have to show your passport to the examiner and uh, they will give you uh, discussion topics uh, and uh, there will be uh, maximum four number of uh, applicants uh, who will join with you in the group interview and uh, you have to discuss the topics with them you have to uh, make some uh, opinions you have to participate and you have to show the examiner that you uh, know English you are a good speaker or you can converse uh, co you can make conversation with uh, others in English so uh, this is very important uh, because uh, in the group interview there is 40 number and in the first entrance exam that we will uh, give there is a 60 number so uh, if you want to uh, get a good number and uh, want to make yourself ahead of the other applicants then group interview is very important and uh, if you were uh, not fearful if you uh, can uh, conver uh, make conversation with others if, if you just talk like uh, two minutes uh, and if you participate well uh, then you can get the maximum number and here is the tips uh, if you uh, after uh, the examiner give you give uh, all of you the topics discussion topics if you start first that make some impression to them so try to create this opportunity okay so that is the tips you should follow so the duration of the group interview will be 30 minutes and the maximum score of the group interview is 40 as i have already said this and minimum pass score is 8 so if you were quiet if you don't participate if you not talk uh, any sentence then you will be disqualified and uh, they expect a uh, little talk from you uh, and the little talk is not enough you have to uh, show themselves that you were conversant and you can make conversation with people in English so at least uh, talk one to two minutes and uh, make some impression and try to start the conversation so that will make a good impact so uh, there's uh, the group interview then there are some uh, uh, after the group interview uh, you will uh, ask to write something about it maybe about the uh, group discussion uh, or maybe other topics so they may ask you to write something uh, about the group discussion like uh, they can ask you to uh, what are the findings you got from the discussion or write your opinion what decision you have raised this kind of uh, question they may ask and you have to write what they actually uh, ask there so my experience on group discussion and written part uh, was uh, they actually uh, my examiner give us the topics uh, that was what will be the changes in our work in the next 10 years and how we will deal with it so I discussed about the uh, home office the time it was a uh, corona time and uh, maximum people are doing their uh, office from home and the students uh, are joining their class in Zoom or Teams so it was a very common the time and 
uh, this uh, came my brain first and I just talk about the home office uh, uh, and uh, later I got some ideas about the artificial intelligence and robotic technology so uh, I started first uh, I hope I am sure that this uh, had make a good impression to them and uh, I have passed <laughs> and after that they asked me to uh, write about what you discussed and the findings and opinion so this is uh, this reading part is very easy if uh, you have no problem in write in written so here are some group discussion topics uh, these topics is uh, not the confirmed suggestion to you but uh, here is some topics I uh, gave you so that you can get some idea you can practice and this uh, will uh, make you some, some confident and uh, you can uh, practice these topics with your friends or others or you can do it by yourself uh, you can talk uh, with this uh, taking these topics and you can talk uh, what you know and you can research and to know about these topics actually this may help you this is not the final suggestion there is no suggestion at all but uh, these topics uh, may help you to improve your uh, group discussion participation uh, uh, maybe uh, it will be smoother so here I have given you uh, two uh, group discussion topics uh, actually not two it is uh, three group discussion topics uh, I actually made these topics uh, uh, to my experience and uh, that the first one is uh, how social media influence um, employees in a work environment so if the examiner give you these topics you have to think what you may say what how you can start immediately within uh, 20 seconds or 10 seconds as early as possible you have to say something uh, if you want to start first and if you don't know about the topics then please wait and uh, listen what your other group members are talking about then try to add something try to agree with their opinion or try to uh, uh, make some participation anyhow so uh, the next uh, topics I have given that is uh, social media addiction to employees results in negative growth of a company agree or disagree discuss and give your opinion the third one is why research is the main asset of evaluating the standard of university so there are three topics I have given here you can practice it with uh, by yourself or by with your uh, friends or other people you may skip this any question no bye thank you all